welcome back. We are going to be doing a video on the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Um, this is the box and y'all know I like to talk about the box and the presentation of the bottle first and so let's go ahead and get into that. And so when I first got this in the mail, I was like, oh, I'm not keeping the box. I saw the box online. But I actually did end up keeping the box because it's like a velvet texture and I've never seen a box like this. For the bottle, it's really simple. Um, it definitely goes with the name light blue. I like the color. It kind of reminds me of like a diamond or something like that. Um, not too much to be intrigued by with the bottle, but it's okay. Um, it, it's just like the fragrance. Um, the fragrance it isn't like something like oh my gosh it's to die for but it is a good fragrance to have i think that everyone should have it especially if you're like me and you like to wear perfume at all times of the day during anything um this is definitely my go-to for like when i'm chilling and i'll get more into that when we you know talk about that um but for now let's go ahead and talk about what I think about this fragrance. So the first thing that I smell when I smell this, it's like a citrus musk smell. Very fresh, clean. Um, like I said, it's a likable fragrance. Everybody will enjoy this. This is definitely something that you could wear to the office. It's not going to aggravate anyone. Everyone will love this. It's, it reminds me of like Cali and the sunset and the ocean. You can't go wrong with it. If you're just getting into fragrances, I would suggest getting this. This is something that you can definitely blind buy. Um, now, it does get better after you wear it. Like when you first smell it, you'll probably be like, hmm, I'm not really a fan of it. But once you keep it and you're like wearing it throughout the day and like you wear it multiple times, you'll really fall in love with this fragrance. It is a good go-to, um, good for everyday use for sure. It is a simple, straightforward fragrance. Like I said, everyone will love this fragrance. And so you don't have to do too much. You can mix it with things. I do like to mix this with some stuff like, um, to make it like a sweeter version because it is like really citrusy. And so if you do want to add like more of a feminine touch to it, then you definitely can by just adding like Burberry Her or something on top of it to just sweeten it up a little bit. I do like to get my fragrances from Macy's and so this fragrance is going for about 116. And so that's a pretty good price um, for this big bottle. You know, you're gonna get a lot of use out of that. And so I'm definitely not complaining about about that price you always want to make sure to spray far out from yourself because if you're spraying it too close to your skin it's definitely going to be way too strong and you always want to avoid rubbing in your fragrance because it is going to rub off those top notes and so this is with any fragrance you always just want to make sure that you spray from a distance and let it settle into your skin without rubbing it in for the top notes we have lemon and granny smith apple as y'all know i am a fan of the granny smith apple scent so anything that has that in it i am gonna love it for the middle notes we have jasmine and marigold and for the base notes, we have musk and amberwood. And so I definitely smell all of those things. Not so much of the jasmine. Um, I definitely do smell the lemon though. Very, very citrusy. And I do smell that musky smell. And that Granny Smith apple it really gives it kind of like that sweet kick, but it's not too much because, you know, like the Granny Smith Apple is very soft. And so it doesn't, you know, take over. It's just like a hint of it in there. But definitely when you first smell this, you're going to smell lemon or you even may think like an orange peel. Um, that's kind of what I thought before I smelt it, but I think that that's like the lemon and the musk mixed together. It's making that smell. So now let's go ahead and get into the sprayer. Let's see how this sprays. Pretty good sprayer. I am going to spray it on myself. I always want to spray from a distance. And so 
You see, like when I spray it on myself, you shouldn't have any type of like a wet look on it because it is going to be too alcoholic. Mm, mm. When you spray it on your skin, that lemon really, really does come out. Like, mm. yeah, yeah, it's definitely a lemon. You don't so you don't get that orange anymore. Um, when you smell the bottle, you may think that it's orange, but when you spray it on your skin, it's all lemon. So that's really good. I do like that. And then you still have that sweet kick to it with the Granny Smith apple. And then when it dries down, that lemon is still there, but it's not as strong. Um, but I do smell that musk and amberwood. On me, it really turns so much more feminine when I spray it on my skin than when I smell it on the bottle. And that's why it's so important to spray fragrance on your skin because your body chemistry is going to make it really, really develop much more different than someone else's. So let's say if you were to spray this on a man, it is going to be more masculine for him because it's not gonna turn like so sweet like how it will with the female's body chemistry like i love this on myself but i definitely do think that this is a unisex fragrance it is labeled as a feminine fragrance because they do have a male version but a male can definitely get away with this because like i said it's just a fresh lemon scent like it reminds me of a shower and Let's go ahead and talk about versatility. Um, when I wear this, I like to wear this when I'm fresh out the shower, when I'm going to bed, when I wake up in the morning and I'm just going in my office to just sit down and do some work. I also like to wear this when I'm working out. If you put this on when you're working out, you will smell so clean and fresh after. It's definitely a daytime fragrance. I would wear this in the summer. This is a summer fragrance to me. It doesn't give me winter at all or fall. Definitely the spring and summer. So now let's go ahead and get into the longevity of this fragrance. This fragrance is definitely gonna last you about eight hours probably longer but i'm just gonna say eight to nine hours to be safe but on me this fragrance sticks i actually just took a shirt out of the washer and dryer yesterday and this fragrance was still on there like i could still smell it through the detergent and everything now compliments this is going to get you compliments like i said everyone is going to love this fragrance and so you're bound to get a compliment from someone because they're going to be like what is that smell it smells so clean and fresh and who doesn't like a clean fresh smell just keep in mind that when you are testing this fragrance that you always want to test this fragrance on your skin do not sniff the bottle with this one you need to test it on your skin if you smell it on paper it isn't going to develop how it will with the chemistry of your skin like always if you all have any questions please feel free to reach out to me and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye lovelies